What's going on, family? It has been a little bit of a minute. I was a little under the weather. I was a little under the weather, but I'm feeling good now, and that's all that matters. Thank you for tuning in. If we haven't met, this is Garrett Brown Art Studio, and I'm back with another video just for you. And we're about to get started. This thing is popping. Alright party people, these are my colors for today's pour. And we are going to have a good old time. I've just mixed up all of these colors here. This is a custom mixed color. This is Cordacridone, Magenta, and Payne's Gray mixed together. Not much Payne's Gray, but it's like this gorgeous, pretty berry color. I also have um, this lovely yellow gold combination. All of my recipe, all of my paints will mix to the same consistency. I will also link that recipe in the description as well. So we're gonna clear our canvas and let's talk about our colors that will make our rings today. If you saw the previous video, you saw that I used the Blick Acrylic brand and I'm gonna be using that same brand today. So I mix one part of my Blick Acrylic paint to Elmer's glue. And you're probably thinking that this was very thick um, and it was thick, but it actually thinned down the more I mixed it because this is um, like, I don't want to be too technical, but this is a student style paint, um, but not like kitty paint, if that makes sense. So there are some good, there are some good binders in, in this paint. Um, I really like big acrylic but it's good because you get a lot for the uh, uh for the price this is a new color this is pearl lilac which is an iridescent and what i'm going to do i'm going to add it throughout the painting gonna hoping that i will get is little specks of iridescent throughout the entire canvas and i chose the lilac color to complement the colors that we have in our rainbow swipe once again, I'm using Recycle Cups. I know it's not the prettiest thing for a video, but it is good for recycling. So let's go over the consistency really quick. This consistency is a bit thicker than previously. So what I did was I did a one-to-one -one ratio of the paint to Elmer's glue, and then I added water to get this consistency. I found that my black needed a little bit more water than my white did. And to me, it's still thinner, but we're gonna go with it. So one cup will start out with a black base and the other with a white base. All right, family, here are my pretty cups. Don't get hypnotized. <laughs> and we're gonna start pouring this bad boy.
Don't you just love the definition of that ring? I just, uh, so pretty, just black and white. So my battery stopped, uh, my phone stopped recording, unfortunately, but I switched things up a bit and I changed the ring up mid ring because I wanted a change in the flow of the paint and the look of this. Um, because while this is really cool, I didn't want my entire um, piece to look like this. So I switched it up um, from doing rings to like a circular ring and then I did kind of a straight pour at the end which I need to move my paints a little bit to make sure that I have a good space to lay my colors and swipe so I kind of just want to conjoin these better. So I forgot to add my iridescent in the black, like I said I was going to, but I will add it in the colors. Gonna add some iridescent. Um, lilac in here. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna take my swipe tool and just swipe along this thing here. We're gonna add our cell activator. What I love about this is with the ring pull underneath, you have a really good pillow. So it makes it harder to mess this swipe up. Here we go. Okay. Didn't get a lot in here, um, but that's okay. We will work with what we got. I do like the cells right along this little swoop here.
We're not gonna use all the colors this time. But we are going to use some of that lilac. All right, let's try this again. All right. Oh, that's really pretty. Wow, we. Oh man, check out that section. I love what the cells did. Now we're going to fill in our perimeter here. All right, so I need to see where the weight of the paint is. What I want to do is stretch this all around the perimeter of this canvas and get something really gorgeous and do the same with this part. I'm gonna have to lose my cells along here, but I may be able to keep some here and then stretch back, tilt some of this off because I don't like it that much. And I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with that white patch. Hopefully I can keep this and this now that's the plan now what happens hmm we'll see <laughs> you could probably tell that I was not terribly thrilled about the initial swipe in the start of this piece and sometimes you just have to stay positive and just hope and pray for the best and i'm so glad that i didn't scrape it or be discouraged because this actually ended up being one of my favorite pieces the colors the movement the everything and if we didn't keep those positive vibes we wouldn't have been able to produce something so amazing in my opinion i'm all about good vibes and positive energy so yeah just keep keep at it if you're struggling with the technique and don't give up and don't be so quick to scrape something all right ladies and gentlemen i was able to accomplish just about everything i wanted to do and look at these colors Woo -wee! i am excited look at that composition and that shoo and then some of the color right here. So it took that long piece off. This part, oh, gotta get you guys in for a close up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, check out those gorgeous cells. And I love the, it's kind of like negative space with color um, <laughs> when you look at everything else. And look at that little swipe, soup right there. <laughs> And my cells are just falling off my canvas. And we have another part. Look at that. God, that is just so freaking spectacular. And we have another corner here. And check out my black and white. So much contrast. On a scale of one to 10, I would give this a nine. But to the areas that I don't like, I don't like this part. 
Um, and I'm not sure if there's anything that I can do to like it or if I should just leave it. Um, and I don't like this area, but it has grown on me some because the cell activator has been broken up by some cells that have popped up. So and a lot of times when you like the majority of a piece, sometimes you have to let those little ugly places go because you can just disrupt everything that you have going on. I think I want to pull some of this out um, and try to create something here. I like that. Ah, I like it. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to keep going or I don't know if I can pull this into another direction and make it look like that. Ah, what do you guys think? Should I keep going with these last couple of strands and bring them around? I feel like I hear y'all say keep going. Now, I feel like I could do some, this, doing something like this will kind of even it out on this piece because this will kind of be like a focal point. Y'all following me? So, so I'm scraping my bottoms as I prepare to transfer this to my drying station. Now here is our final look. I think she's freaking gorgeous. Yo, this piece is popping. All of my colors dry beautifully. You can see that iridescent shimmer every now and then, and I just love it. Remember family, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.